from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings at LA of incredible great news, news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. And your CR for stimulus was 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. With the MFC at issue as well and access to 102.0. In this report, we're going to quite a bit of great news as the Build Back Better Act will be passed in the House and the Senate. But guess what? Last Friday, the office stimulus of 2.0 passed in the House. And now the Senate say that they're ready with the office stimulus of 3.0. That has to be merged together. Meantime, 4.0 is at issue, and you want that $200 a month. If you're on SSI and SSCI, it's also giving you real benefits. Well, 2.0 is now an issue, and in this report, I'm going to show you how Joe Biden can get this incredible money to you, in addition to repurposing money out the door. Wow. It's huge, it's breaking, and it's totally on LA. When it turns back into this incredible recon that passed in the House, now in the Senate, the Build Back Better Act passed, and so far also passed, now CR stimulus was 2.0. To be merged with CR stimulus was 3.0. The latest breaking news is today a brand new reporting from San Juan, California. The big money under the third stimulus that would give you $45,000. Guess what? Stay in the area and I'm going to show you how to get those incredible sums of money. But no time to place a for this stimulus to come along and then later this year. You you can do some of it right now, and it would go by executive phone call of the President of the United States. All those incredible details are covered in today's recording with a lot of chats. CRR symbols 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, SS200, we've never seen money, and the bill that I wrap. Wow, it's a great reporting. Everything is here, except something they can't get. Can we do the big big 2.0? Make a 3.0 and I will settle for Bacon at 1.0. Uh, I'll be so for Bacon at minus 1. The incredible details eat up as morning daylight gets underway. <laughs> The incredible money in this incredible recon heating up across the board. And the House passed the recon back in November, and now it's in the Senate. But guess what the House passed on last Friday? They passed CR for Stimulus 2.0, and the Senate changes with a 3.0 and merge it with 2. I have all the incredible details in this breaking live report from Santa Monica, California. If third stimulus paying you more money, stay the very end. I have thousands of dollars to, for you to get. One viewer, two viewers got over $10,000 in the last seven days. Wow, it's huge. Then we'll be looking at SS200 2.0. You don't need to wait for executive action. You don't need to wait for a recon. It could happen right today. If you've never watched this channel before and you're wondering, what are you watching here? You're watching LA Light, the number two, mo number three most watched financial news channel in America. And I need your help to bring us to number two. And do it right now by subscribing. Go right on this video right now and bring the number three most watched financial news channel in America among broadcast cable and internet broadcasters to number two by subscribing. Like the video, two, three thousand likes and consider becoming a member. We have a lot of money in this recording, a lot of history to be made and a lot of details. You're not going to see these details anywhere else because this my friends is l8 also sign up for the l8 alerts also the link to which is under the description of this video we go over the incredible build back better act of the four symbols recon first as the toast is toasted and the butter is buttering we're going to look at these incredible checks in this recon that pays you a lot of money at least fifteen thousand dollars to sixty thousand dollars with three clusters and three add-ons you're ready here we go stay to the very end we have a lot of checks coming up later in this recording in that first class i got it in there hazard pay for my essential workers it's huge one more year of earned income tax credit across the board 
established and broadened under third stimulus, coming back under fourth stimulus. To learn about it, go to irs.gov. $4,000 of elder care, got it in there. $4,000 of the CTC, the child tax credit, for one more year, $3,600. Learn about it at irs.gov as well. Then they got six hundred. They got $550 checks for the Pell Grant recipients, $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and then they got money to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. Wow, that is huge. Now, there is three classes of checks with three add-ons. Lots of checks is incredible recon. And we're going to look at the first add-on of checks that comes from here in Southern California from the incredible Maxine Waters. She got this provision in there on the Senate side, excuse me, the House side, and it's staying in there on the Senate side. It's one of the most popular provisions for the viewership of this channel called The Purple Power. It's money to buy your first home. Maxine got, Waters got there got in there upwards of $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Wow. This is money given to the seller in your name by the federal government at the time of escrow. Now let's turn to the second cluster of checks. Home repairs and paid leave. This is to weatherize your home, and the paid leave is just huge. What is paid leave? This is if you have to stay home due to sickness or illness, due to yourself or someone in the household. Folks, this is a lot of money. How much does this pay? A fortune. If you make $70,000 or more per year, it is about $1,700 a week. If you make $35,000 or more per year, it is about $800 a week. If you make $15,000 or more per year, it is about $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, this is about four to $6,000 a year. Wow. Now, if you do not work, but you live with your son or daughter and they do work and they have to take off to work due to sickness or your illness, then they get the check across the board. W-2-1099, you'd all get it across this land. It's huge, which is the second of three clusters. Now, let's turn to that second add-on. <laughs> if you're in the live chat, you know what that second add-on is. It comes with Bob Casey. Do you remember the number? Write the number if you remember what it is in the live chat right now. Yeah, there it is. It's just a little bit under $250 billion. It comes from Bob Casey for free home health care for seniors and people on disability. Abilities. Wow. Thank you, Bob Casey. This is a Joe Biden campaign promise, and they got it in there. This is just a little bit less than $250 billion of free home health care, currently not provided at all under Medicare for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow, they got it in there. Which brings us to the third cluster of checks. That's where we find deliciousness. Later in this video, you're going to see me give you my commentary of the situation in which some viewers have been modifying some of the languages of the provisions in the recon. So it's very important for you to listen very carefully, and I'll show you later in this recording how some viewers have misinterpreted some of the language of the, of the provisions. Very important for you to know exactly how you get each check, because it's your money. <laughs> you don't want to mess this up. It's your money. In the third cluster, we have free internet. We also have the money for the farmers, the money for the independent contractors, and then the free school meals for all checks, plus we have the money for the seniors. Two provisions on the House, three coming from the Senate. On the House side, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix, more about that in a second, and the checks for hearing. On the Senate side, they vowed to add in their dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is par for the course of when we're talking about the third add-on to be added on the Senate side. And if you know what that is, write those three letters on the live chat right now. I think you know what those three letters are. It's MSC, multiple or monthly IRS stimulus check. First, let's go over what it is, then who gets it, how much it is, and how you would get it as well. And all the incredible details start right now. The first of this week on the Build Back Better Act, which we're still in so far in this recording, we're going to get to the other bodies of legislation in a second, has lots of checks in there, folks. Lots of checks. forty to $60,000. Multiple checks. The way we differentiate MSC from that stuff is that it's added into the recon, but it's sent out by IRS. So that's the differences in the equation. All right, so who gets it? Back in the month of, of May last year, the Sanchez represented that the people who got a third stimulus check would get a fourth stimulus check. So forgot the eligibility? Don't worry, I'm going to go over the details with you right now. 
single individuals, $75,000 or less, would get it if that's their annual income. Marry a couple, $150,000 or less, would get it if that's their annual income as well. Family of four, quadruple it if that's their annual income. And if you're a fa and if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security or Railroad benefits, you get it as well. If you uh, have a tax return filed recently and had a direct deposit account listed, that's how you would get paid. Otherwise, it would come by mail check. It's not taxable because it ain't income, and it's offered nationwide across the board. It is not state stimulus. So if you don't like your particular governor, <laughs> welcome to the party. It's often the case. Don't worry about it anywhere at all. The money would go in there across the board. It looks like the stream connection is excellent. We may have lost connection for just a second. So I think we're back across the board. Now, let's go over, of course, one of the most important questions, which is how much? <laughs> how much? The legislators represent $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. And there you go. Huge across the board. Now, obviously, the most important question is how? H-O-W. How do they get this into the Build Back Better Act? Let me analyze all those incredible questions as we continue this live broadcast direct from Santa Monica, California, and we're still at the Build Back Better Act. So that passed in the House of Representatives back in November, now in the Senate. Thousands of pages of checks in their past in the House, now in the Senate. The Senate Democrats will not remove any of those checks that the House members put in there, but will supplement it. When? During a subcommittee in the Senate. First step, subcommittee in the Senate. Then they finish the bill in the Senate. Off to a vote in the Senate floor. Then they have a two-day votorama. And then we're done. But because this hasn't happened, over two weeks ago, I thought to myself, is there another opportunity to get you money faster than the Build Back Better Act while still keeping our support behind the Build Back Better Act? And there is. And it's called C are for stimulus. And if you're in the live chat right now, write the hashtag campaign if you remember how to write it. First, if you're new to this channel and never heard of CR for stimulus, let me explain to you the history of it, which dates back to 2020. In 2020, we had started the pandemic. We had gotten a first stimulus check in a first stimulus package. And then we were waiting for another round of money, what was proposed as the second stimulus package. It was thousands of pages in length, and the negotiators at the time were Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats out of San Francisco, and Steve Mnuchin on behalf of the Republicans out of New York, then Treasury Secretary. They negotiated in the spring, no deal. Then the summer, no deal. Then the fall, no deal. Then the winter, still no deal. And after 11 months of negotiating, I said, you know what? We need something else. So I went off camera, and I thought to myself, you know what? I need to find something else. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, this is December 2020. I'm looking for something that's small as a bill. Just a few hundred pages in length, not a package, not several thousand pages in length. Number two, that would go by bipartisan support. Number three, that would go fast. That couldn't roll over months at end. That has an inherent deadline. And I found it called a continuing resolution. It has a lot of different names for it, but it refers to a budget bill that the federal government must do every three to six months. It's what funds the federal government, like the national parks and the federal buildings. The reason I like it is because it goes by bipartisan support. It's small, just a few hundred pages, and it has an inherent deadline. They don't roll it over months, maybe a few days, maybe a week, maybe a few weeks, but not more than a month. So I prepared to myself in December 2020 how to make that first recording. I also prepared for the criticism I was expecting. And also prepared for us how to us to advocate the viewership of this channel is called Purple Power. And then I delivered the first message live on air in December 2020. I said to the viewership of this channel, I said, hey, everybody, it's Adelaide. How are you? Good morning. And we have a big live chat. There's Jose in the chat and Marvin and Chrissy and Jen and Lynn Glenn. And I said, in December 2020, I said, we have an issue. This second stimulus package has been going on for 11 months. What if we could get the money out with something smaller, a smaller bill that goes by bipartisan support that has an inherent deadline? Do you like that idea? And viewers did. And that's when I delivered the concept. CR for stimulus. Putting a stimulus check in the continued resolution, whose then deadline was December 2020. We pushed, and immediately the moment after we pushed, the criticism came on in. The criticism is exactly what I anticipated. P. 
people said, that kid allied, he's crazy. <laughs> doesn't belong in there. A stimulus check doesn't belong in there. Why? Because the CR is a fund the federal government. It's money to give to the federal government. We're not going to put checks to send to the American people in a bill that goes to the federal government. And I had my reaction ready. You're right. I am crazy. No, you're not right about that. You're right. It doesn't belong in there. It does not belong in there. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. Why? Because since the beginning of time, Congress has passed legislation where they insert money in the legislation that doesn't belong in there. During the pandemic, they were notorious for this, both Republicans and Democrats. They had a COVID relief bill that gave money to foreign military governments. There was a COVID relief bill that proposed to build a new FBI building. There was a COVID relief bill that proposed to expand the Department of Copyrights. So I said, you can certainly send us out a check. And so we advocated and we pushed. And day in and day out, we pushed CR for stimulus with those legislators. And then we woke up one morning and we heard that the legislators were going to put in stimulus in the continuing resolution December 2020. We thought we had won until we looked and then we realized, uh, no, it's unemployment stimulus. <laughs> you got the wrong stimulus. We're asking for a stimulus check. So we pushed again and finally it got in there. This channel made history. I made history. You made history. The Purple Power made history. Americans got a $600 check in December 2020 because of my recordings. No one had ever thought of, no one had ever conceived of, no one thought it was possible to put a check and then continue in resolution until I made that recording and it became a reality. Millions of Americans got a $600 check in December 2020 or in January. And guess what happened after that? Second stimulus never went to a bill vote, never got finalized, and never paid anyone anything. So thank goodness for CR for Stimulus 2020. Well, two weeks ago and one day ago on a Saturday, two Saturdays ago, I said, you want to bring it back? And viewers said, yes. 11 months of negotiations, Joe and Joe, known deal. Millions of Americans need this money. And the four stimulus recon of the Build Back Better Act, thousands of pages like just enormous. Why not do it easier and breezier with something smaller a CR whose inherent deadline right now is mid is late February. Let's advocate for it. And guess what happened? In less than two weeks, House Democrats heard us and came out and said, you know what? You're right. We like the Bill Back Better Act. We like the Four Summers Recon. It will pass. But we can't wait around for it. So we need to do another pieces, plural, of legislation, economic legislation before it, to get money out right across the board because we need that right now. We can't wait around for just Build Back Better Act, which will pass. And that was Thursday, last Thursday. And immediately after I broadcasted live that breaking news report, I also told you that the person who made that comment, Pete Aguilar, House Democrat, said that they're looking at a lot of pieces, plural, of legislation to do this with. And the first one may go for a vote by early as 24 hours later. Well, guess what happened? It happened. Last Friday, 24 hours later, no less than two days ago, the House passed the first of these pieces of legislation. It's what I call on this channel CR for Stimulus 2.0. In the second half of this recording, we're going to go over the incredible great news as now CR for Stimulus 2.0 has passed the House. It has been sent to the Senate, and it gets even better than that. The Senate Republicans, you heard me right, Republicans, not Democrats, saying, thank goodness for CR for Stimulus 2.0 because we have CR for Stimulus 3.0 already, and we're going to merge them. I'll have the latest updates on that, plus I'll have the latest updates on CR for Stimulus 1.0, 4.0. Then what's going on with SS200, why the president has an opportunity across the board to get you not just $200 a month for 6 to 12 months, as promised on the campaign trail for people on SSI and SSDI, but lifetime, oh, it's coming up in the second half of this video. Then we'll look at repurposing money and how the president can get out money across the border. We'll get you thousands of dollars. As several viewers have gotten ten dollars to $15,000 in the last few days, it's third stimulus. And then we'll be going over my personal commentary in view of some great questions I got yesterday in the live chat. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as a big afternoon's ally continues. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. See you back in 60 seconds as afternoon's ally continues. But first, here's a little bit about the community page and everything you need to know across the board. See you in just a second. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. 
That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now as Mornings LA goes into its second half alive from Santa Monica, California with Sion for Stimulus 1.0, 2.0, and 3 and 4. On Friday, 2.0 passed the House and has been sent to the Senate where the Senate Republicans are ready with their 3.0 version and says 3.0 and 2.0 will merge quickly. Wow. This is huge, incredible, great news. I'll explain what's going on. Then we'll be looking back to 1.0, its latest update, and fourth and 4.0, the opportunity to do it in a fourth option across the board. Then we'll be looking at the incredible money that is still at issue in the Build Back Better Act, but how I can get you thousands of dollars right today. It's third summers, and viewers got ten dollars to $15,000 over the weekend. I'm excited for them. I'll show you how to get that money as well. Then, we've been talking about fifth stimulus for a little bit of a time, but guess what? The president can do this tomorrow and get you SS200 per month. My goodness. This is SS200 2.0, a new version. You've never heard it before until you found LA. And with that, I'm excited that you found me. If you just found this channel, you're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, but I need your help to bring us to number two by subscribing. Go right into this video right now and subscribe. We have a lot of videos throughout the day, and I want you to subscribe and not miss a video. This is the channel that only delivers the breaking financial news in America, but also makes it. Like the video and consider becoming a member. Get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late alert system, which is totally free, a link to which is under the video's description. And with that, let's go into the second half of this morning's broadcast as the butter is buttering and the toast is brewing. Wow. Before the commercial break, we were talking about the concept of CR for stimulus. Very, very simple concept. We support the Build Back Better Act, the Force Stimulus Recon, but can we use a small bill that's just a few hundred pages in length, has bipartisan support, goes fast, doesn't have a way to be rolled over, has an inherent deadline that we insert money into it. It's the expression of CR for stimulus that I want you to focus on more than just the letters CR. 1.0, I'll have the latest update for you in just a second, but on Friday, Pete Aguilar delivered as expected. 2.0 pass the House of Representatives. Now, let's look at what we're talking about. Pete Aguilar, who's a House Democrat, said that while the recon is good, we have our eyes on economic recovery and we must absolutely pass other pieces of legislation that will continue to alleviate supply chain and deal with inflationary pressures. What's economic recovery? Economic stimulus is different than social reform. Social reform in the Build Back Better Act is like the dental, the vision, the hearing. The economic is your wallet, your bills, the housing, those type of provisions across the board. So Aguilar had many options. And the first option he had proposed on Thursday, he said, we'll go for a vote on Friday. I delivered the breaking news to you as soon as it happened. It passed. On Friday, it passed. And it's called, on this channel, CR for Stimulus 2.0. It's not a CR, but it's just the second version of how to do it. It's an economic recovery bill, and guess what? It then landed in the Senate right after that. And what was the reaction? Shockingly great. 
the Republicans in the Senate, yeah, you heard me right, Republicans, said, we're very proud of what the, uh, the House Democrats did, and we're doing as Senate Republicans our version as well. Wow, this is huge. Have we ever seen anything like this? Not in a while. I'll explain to you later in this video why there's this element of getting things done together. But the incredible comment that came in from the Republican senators is that now we can get these two together, merge them, and get them out the door. The incredible comment came from Senator Todd Young, who's a Senate Republican, who said the following after CR for Simmons 2.0 passed. My hope is that the process will continue to move both forward. Wow. The Democrats have passed their bill, CR for Stimulus 2.0, and then we, Senate Republicans, can go to our conference, Senate conference, and go come up with our piece of legislation that is more reflective of what we can produce in the Senate. This would be the Senate as a whole. This would be merging the Senate Republicans version with the House Democrats version, two and three together, and making one brand new piece of legislation. Gets even better, the quote. We will get to work very quickly to help improve what we've done here in the Senate, and then we'll send the House Republicans a much better option that they will vote quickly thereafter. Wow, that is huge. That is huge. So that is two and three. Let's go back. Let's go forward to four. Is there a fourth option? There is a fourth option. And Lynn Glenn, who I think is in the live chat right now, she sent me a beautiful message just a few minutes ago on Facebook saying, I love the first option, advocate for the fourth option. So the fourth option is a little bit different. This is not using economic recovery legislation, it's using other legislation. Remember what I teach on this channel. It don't matter if the bill is about chocolate cake or if the bill is about poinsettia plants. So long as there's an opportunity to insert it, it's quick, it's small, it's bipartisan, it has, no, it has an inherent deadline, then let's use it. And the fourth option is the Russian sanctions bill. What's at issue is that the Senate teams of Republicans and Democrats are working hand in hand to pass quickly a sanction of Russia for putting 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukraine border. Said Republicans, Marco Rubio, and Senate Democrats, Bob Menendez, are working hand in hand to get this legislation passed quickly. One, it's small. Two, it's bipartisan. Three, it's quick and may pass by the end of the week. So this is our fourth option to insert money across the board. Now let's go back to the latest update on what's going on with CR for Stimulus 1.0. 1.0, which is the Senate, a continuing resolution. We have an updater, update from John Tester. He's a Democrat from Montana, and he said just in the last day or two, that the current status of the, of the continuing resolution is the following. It has an inherent deadline at the moment of late February, but there's two opportunities, one, or options. The first one is one, to roll it over and do it later out, what's called a stopgap. You don't want that option. You want things done quickly. The second opportunity is to get it done by this deadline in February. Tester says, again, he's a Montana Democrat senator, that if you can get four people on board to agree upon the price, the whole price of this continuing resolution, we're done. Because writing the legislation, he says, will only take a week and we'll be done. We can roll it over a week and we'll be done. He says, who do we need to agree upon the price? It is Mitch who I don't want you to advocate to, obviously, another Republican, and then these two people who I do want you to advocate to. Chuck Schumer, you know him, Democrat, New York, and a new name, Leahy, L-E-A-H-Y, Democratic Senator, Vermont. I want you to advocate to them by saying, get the continuing resolution done this month, don't do a stopgap, don't delay it, and insert a stimulus check in there like you did in December 2020. Advocate to Leahy and Schumer and say, get it done, the continuing resolution this month. Do not roll it over with stopgap. Insert a stimulus check in there and do it like you did in December 2020. And let's be very frank, Chuck Schumer is among those six senators who have told thousands of viewers he would do a stimulus check. Do it right now across the board. And there you go. That is one, two, and three 
and 4.0 CR for stimulus. Now, does the president have opportunities across the board to send you other sums of money? And he does. And we're going to turn first to SS200 2.0, and then we're going to turn to repurposing money. Boy, this is exciting, and I'll explain the details of it right now. During the presidential campaign, we had Elizabeth Warren running on a platform of reforming the Social Security Administration operation. She was competing against Joe Biden for the Democratic ticket. And Joe Biden said, well, you know what? Uh, now that Liz Warren has pulled out of the race for president, I like what she advocated. I will adopt it as part of my platform as well. So in running for president, Joseph Biden promised the SSI reform. Then when he, ran, when he won the election, during his transition papers as president-elect, he repeated again. What is the platform? What was the platform? What still remains the platform? The platform was reforming the Social Security Administration that pays out checks for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, with several items. One raising everyone's benefits lifetime of across the board, then apply a new benchmark, remove the asset cap, the income cap, the marriage penalty, and other things across the board. Well, he came into office, and day one, Joe Biden didn't do it. Day month one, Joe Biden didn't, didn't do it. By month three, approximately, he still had not talked about it. So the fellow Democrats said, you know what, you're not talking about, we're proposing this as its own recon. It became the stimulus recon covered on this channel. Now that we're in February of 2022, I said, you know what? Let's not make this more complicated than it needs to be. One of the most important provisions in this uh, reform can be done by a simple phone call today. And what is it? SS200. What is SS200? Among the provisions in this advocacy that started from campaign promises from Liz Warren, and then became Joe Biden's promises for president, was the promise that people on benefits had been left behind during the pandemic, not paid enough, and that they would get an extra $200 for 6 to 12 months. I'm going to say that again. An extra $200 for 6 to 12 months per person. Only one, uh, only one time per person. So if you have multiple benefits, you would only get this once per person. About $1,200 approximately. Well, let me introduce you now to the concept of SS200 2.0 that wouldn't get you just $200 for 6 to 12 months. It would get it to you a lifetime. And what is required? A recon? No. A bill? No. Act of Congress? No. A vote of Congress? No. A phone call? That's all you need. Let's go over how this works. There are federal agencies in the U.S. government that operate under their own charter agreement, and they do things based upon their own guidelines, like FEMA, SBA, Social Security Administration. They determine how they do things based upon what they determine internally to do. They don't need Congress to tell them what to do under their charter establishment. So if they want to change their guidelines, they can. If you've been with the channel for a while, you'll remember the Social Security Administrator. You'll remember him and now his replacement. Last year, there was a problem getting the third stimulus check out, and Joe Biden came in and fired that guy. Remember him? Yeah, he was out. I used to show his graphics, so replaced him with a new person. Well, what happened later in the year? Joe Biden reached out to SNAP, totally different discussion, Just reached out to the Department of Agriculture saying, you're not paying enough money for SNAP. I want you to pay more money. Now, he can't tell them to pay more money. He can just encourage them. And they listened. And viewers and Americans got 25% lifetime automatically more uh, per month starting the month of October because of that phone call. Ultimately, Department of Agriculture determines their guidelines. Well, here you go, my friends. This is how you do SS200. All the President of the United States has to do is pick up the phone, call the Social Security Administrator, say, you know what? 30 months, 30 days from now, I want you to replace COLA as the benchmark and use inflation. And I encourage you to do that. And if they listen, it's done. And you will get not on average $200 more per month for six to 12 months, but a lifetime. This, my friends, is SS200. First of all, let's go over the calculation of it, and then we'll go over how it functionally works. The calculation of it is very simple. Your benefits are based upon 
COLA, C-O-L-A, cost of living adjustment. If you looked at your check between the year 2015, 2016, it may have looked exactly the same. 2018, 2019 may have looked exactly the same because COLA is a bad benchmark. It should be going up. It's not. It's staying the same. And so you're getting the same check every year after year. This last year, COLA came in at 5.9%. Good. After many years of being flat. But inflation pays more because inflation goes up. Cola came in at seven point at five. Excuse me, came in at five point nine percent in December twenty twenty one. Inflation came in at seven point five percent. If Joseph Biden gets the Social Security administrators to swap it out today, you would see your benefits go up on average two to three percent over uh, instantly per month lifetime, which would be a difference of about two hundred dollars a month lifetime. All right, let's go over the calculation. Let's go over the functionality of how this works. Inflation is a better benchmark because inflation goes up year after year. And in, even in the blandest years, it's always a positive number. Now, back in the spring of last year, the Federal Reserve and Jay Powell said that the inflationary rate in December 2021 would be 1% to 2% and be temporary. I said, I don't think it's accurate. I think it's going to be higher. I think it's going to be 8%, I said on this channel. I don't think it's going to be temporary either. Wall Street said 2 to 3%. They said higher, but still not as high as me. And they also said temporary. I said wrong. I think it's going to be 8%. I don't think it's going to be temporary. Well, I was right. The inflationary number came in about three, four weeks ago for the month of December at 7.5%. And it's not temporary. So if the Social Security Administrator swaps out in COLA and uses inflation, you'll get an additional 2 to 3% instantly. And that is your SS200. Now, Let's go over then to the second opportunity that Joseph Biden has as well. The second opportunity that Joseph Biden has is to repurpose existing funds from programs that have since expired, but the money is still there, and send it out to you, the American people. This has been done once during the Trump administration, but was available twice. Let's go over the calculations of this across the board. When Congress passes a law that establishes a program in a federal agency, they give that federal agency the program and the money. What happens after the program's over? When the program's over, if there's money still sitting around, it sits there until someone does something with it. And if no one does anything with the money, it just sits there. Well, Donald Trump saw this in summer of 2020. FEMA. Federal Emergency Relief, Disaster Relief, like hurricanes, tornadoes, fire, was given a lot of money on COVID initially. Their program ran out. The money was still there. They had extra money. So Donald Trump wanted to give Americans more unemployment benefits, like another FPUC round, but didn't want to go to Congress for it. He went to FEMA and said, FEMA, you got extra money? You're going to repurpose your disaster money as unemployment. <laughs> Sound crazy? You can do it. And that became LWA. Disaster relief money was repurposed for unemployment and was sent out and became law. Donald Trump has a second opportunity. There was $550 billion seen at SBA at the time, and I made countless recordings on this channel, lots of them, it's telling Trump, repurpose that money sent out two stimulus checks. He didn't do it. It would have given him the election win. He didn't do it, and that money was never repurposed. Now Joe Biden has that opportunity again, not with the same pots of money, but for other pot, potential pots of money, if you can find those pots of money, send me a private message on air and I will feature the pots of money. Joe Biden can repurpose the money and send it out to you across the board. Now, I said I was going to go over some commentary and analyze some situations that came in in the last few days. Let me go over that now before I go into for stimulus and also the incredible thousands of dollars you can get right today. I have a lot of checks with, for you, so stay with me. It's important when you're listening to each of these checks in this recon, especially as I'm about to get to the Bill Bot Better Act checks, that you listen carefully and don't change the sentence to say something else. Here's an example. Janet, who's a wonderful viewer, got it right yesterday. She got 100% right in the live chat where I was talking about the, the SS200 2.0 yesterday. And I said, replace the cola with inflation. She got a right and wrote in the live chat, replace the color with inflation. Someone right next to her said, give us the inflation on top of the color. No, 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 no. You can't do 
you can't do double, uh, you can't get a double lift. So we're not doing inflation plus COLA, we're doing inflation instead of COLA. So your benefits are not going up, you know, 12% since last month. No, that's not, that's not the, the part of the equation. Similarly, um, in social media, on Twitter and Facebook yesterday, some people were tagging the president saying, with me, tagging me as well, saying repurpose the SBA money. The SBA money, as I say in the videos, it's gone now. It was an opportunity then. But Biden can repurpose other pots of money. Yesterday, one of the live chats, someone wanted to go into a whole discussion with me. Where did the SBA money go? And then where to go after that? Where to go? It, there, I know these videos are very complicated. I know these videos are very in-depth and very detailed. Don't try to get bogged down in facts that are sort of extraneous, like whatever happened to the SBA money. It's, it's gone now, so it's no longer available. Now, as we go into the incredible provisions of the Fourth Simmons Recon, what I'm going to do when I go through this, this is new today, I'm going to show you if someone has said something that's a little bit different than what I said in recent comments the last 24 hours and show you how you have to listen to make sure you understand every check correctly because I want you to get the money. I don't want you to miss the money because you interpret it the wrong way. All right, let's go over those incredible provisions in the Build Back Better Act that has about fifty dollars to $60,000 of checks in there, and they have in there. The salt cap, raising from $10,000 to $72,500 of what you can deduct in state and local taxes. They got in there cheaper prescription medication. This is for seniors on Medicare Part B and D, like cancer, arthritis, diabetes, bringing it from 20 medications a day, one to 30 by the year 2022, uh, 2028. They got checks for free job training, $40 billion of free job training across the board. They got the Medicaid gap fix. 12 Republican states have vowed never to provide low-income insurance, medical insurance. Now they will. Democrats got a workaround plan that'll provide years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in those states. Then they got in there the $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients, college students. Here comes the car. The car was a topic of mis confusion or of confusion yesterday with one viewer in the live chat. The viewer said, when can I get that down payment for a new car? I don't use the word down payment ever in this channel. So the viewer inserted a different word and down payment means something totally different. And I guess what happens? There is no down payment. So don't use a different word and do a different version of sentence. Let's go over the car right now. At the time of purchase, when you go to purchase the electric car and you go to the cash register, you will pay $12,500 less because of forced stimulus. It's as simple as that. It's not a down payment. It's not a free car. It's not anything other than what is said in that sentence. Then they got $3,600 in there for the CTC one more year, the hazard pay. Third stimulus extended one more year. One person yesterday said, I never got third stimulus. It's not automatic. You got to go to irs.gov to learn about how to get under third stimulus. They're proposing to do it again under fourth stimulus. Then they got in there um, the uh, incredible provisions of housing. So now let's turn to those incredible provisions of housing because this is money you can get right today. I had one of you who got $15,000, another of you who got $10,000. If you've had success stories, send to me on private messages on social uh, on social like Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and I'll feature them live on air. When we look at this money for third stimulus, yeah, you're hearing me right, third stimulus from spring of 2021, it's still paying out. So pull out that newsletter, newsletter if you're a member. If you're not, become a member today. We're going to go over this big sums of money for rent, utility, and mortgage assistance, starting with the rent right now. This was the graphic back in October. It has grown a lot. Where you get it? Six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Six places you must reach out to. You must reach out to those six places. Next, you must get multiple rounds. Third, you must get applications to file everywhere. I'll go over those multiple rounds in just a second. And then you want to get utility assistance because of COVID. Reach out to all utility companies. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000 a year. Then you want to get SNAP. And boy, is it great. SNAP is money for food you get from Department of Agriculture. And Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year. Over 10 years, it's going to be a quarter million dollars. Then you want to get combos. Here's Nisi and Art Sullivan. They started it with three items. And it's been a godsend. Mark was at two items at 32,000. I said, Mark was your third. He got his third, brought him to 50,000. Now he's over 100,000. Lorraine, she was at 105, and now she's at 120. Which brings us to where we are right now. 
I want you to get these thousands of dollars right today and its additional round. When third stimulus became law in spring of 2021, viewers got the first round. They on average got $45,000 from this channel. Last summer, many viewers got another round, but most got that latest round in December last, well, two months ago now, right before Christmas. We call it Christmas stimulus on this channel. They generally got three to four months of rent, so about November, December, January, and one utility. Well, now that we're in February, I want you to do February, March, April, May. I want you to get out as far to May as possible. Reach out to the same organization you reached out to before. If you never did this before, get that membership newsletter and reach out to all six of these places. Get one to pay out six months. Having problems, then lean on the nonprofits. They do that as well. And they have a new pot of money across the board. Then I want you to lean on everything that's in the nonprofits. One video yesterday said um, home repairs for stimulus. When can I get those home repairs? Can't get it yet. But if you're a member, you notice in the membership newsletter it features that one of the nonprofits does some nominal home repairs. Finally, it's important if you're ever in the live chat to make sure that whether you're a, um, a, 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 a wonderful person or perhaps not a wonderful person, to make sure you stay with the facts. For example, one person yesterday said, uh, CR for stimulus. Uh, the Republicans always want the country to default. They always want the continuing resolution to never pass. That's absolutely a fake fact. Mitch McConnell is a big advocate for always doing the continuing resolutions as quickly as possible. He specifically said on the record he never wants the country to default. He never wants to roll it over. He wants it done quickly and easily. So those type of facts don't help anyone because they're false facts, whether they're false Democrat facts, false Republican facts, they confuse the situation across the board. There's a lot going on in this video, and I know it. Uh, we have covered CR for Stimulus 1.0, which is the continuing resolution budget bill. Has a current deadline currently of late J February. You want to advocate to Leahy and Schumer for them to stay by that February deadline. Do not do a stopgap. And insert a stimulus check in there and get it out because we've supported you as Democrats through this Build Back Better Act and you haven't gotten it done. We'll continue to support you on Build Back, but we need the CR to get done and insert a check in there. You did in December 2020. You can do it again. That's the first situation. We're monitoring the status of CR 2.0 and 3.0 as 2.0 passed in the House last Friday is now in the Senate, and the Senate Republicans say they want them merged. Really great news. We're watching 4.0, CR for Stimulus 4.0, that could potentially go to a vote by the end of this week. That's the Russian sanction bill. Then we're advocating the president to do SS200. Fifth stimulus, massive body of legislation. We can do it, but i rather just do the first part right away. Get that lift of $200 per month in people's wallets if they're a senior or person on disability, SSI, SSDI, and get it done. Then repurpose existing monies. Remember, do not use confusing words like uh, executive action. When you use confusing words like executive action, it means certain things to certain people. But generally, it means only that you're going into Treasury, grabbing a wad of cash, and putting it out in the mail. The President of the United States cannot do that. So if you're referring to Joe Biden needing to do something, just say, do it. Don't call it executive action, because it's not executive action. When we're talking about the SS200 2.0, it's not executive action. When we're talking about repurposing existing funds, not executive action. Remember, SBA, that money's been used up. The other items, those sums of money have been used up. I'm trying to use those examples from the Trump administration of what Biden can do right now. Meantime, coming up next at 11 a.m. is Home LA. Then we have the 1 o'clock Afternoons LA, a brand new Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock, and then a brand new Evenings LA at 5. Thereafter, we have 6 o'clock's uh, incredible Evenings Countdown, 7 o'clock's Evenings Home Street and Simulus, and 8 o'clock's Evenings extra.
hit new show on this channel. And then we go to our overnight shows at 9, 10, 11, 30, and we return tomorrow morning at sunrise across the board. And with that, I want you to subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record, number three most watched financial news channel. Ring us to number two by subscribing and telling your friends to come on over. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Have a beautiful morning. Hope the weather improves where you are. Stay informed across the board because the toast is toasted. The butter is buttering. The bacon missing. <laughs> You know, it's always missing, but we'll find it eventually on the bacon. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Ally for more.